What's up, Flat Earthers? So, uh, today, if you did not read the title of the video, we are going to be talking about the time that Chest Binding sent me to the ER. Dramatic. Thunderclap or something, I'll have to remember to edit that in. Anyway, when I was a baby trans, I'm still kind of a baby trans, but you know, when I was like an extra baby trans and I just, just, just came out, um, I got a binder. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically a binder, like it's short for chest binder, which is something, it's like a piece of clothing, like that's specially designed to make your chest look flat by like pressing down what's currently there. Actually, before I had a binder, because I'm an idiot, um, I was binding with duct tape, which don't do that. <laughs> But, when my binder came in, I was incredibly happy, literally one of the best moments of my life. When I first put it on, I ran around screaming, no more titties, it was the best. However, <laughs> I was a dumbass, and um, I was wearing it for about 16 hours a day. I literally only took it off to sleep and shower. And again, if you know nothing about chest binding, basically you can only bind for about six to eight hours a day. Because, you know, it's something, it's around your, your chest, like it's around like your ribs and your lungs, so having a, a garment that's like compressing that part of your body um, can actually like really, really hurt you, even with like proper binders. So you really need to be careful. But I was a fucking dumbass and I never took breaks, ever. So even though I was in like a lot of pain, I could not take it off, which was really fucking stupid of me. And actually, the reason that I even made this video is not only because it's great clickbait, but also because I want y'all who bind to learn from my dumbassery and not do what I did. So one day, I'm just out with my dad. It's like late in the evening. I'm just out with my dad. Um, and we were in, I remember this really, really well, we were in the, um, like, drive through of Freddy's Frozen Custard. And I just felt this horrible horrible pain in my chest, like right here, and I literally thought I was dying, like it hurt so bad. So I just assumed that I broke a rib somehow, and I was like, Dad, like, you need to take me to the hospital, and he's like, what the fuck, and I was like, you need to take me to the hospital, like, I just fucking broke my rib, and he was like, how did you manage to do that, and I was like, I've been binding badly, and he was like, well, alright, cool, so we should go to the hospital, and I was like, wait, Dad, before we go, let's get our order. So, before we went to the hospital, because we were, we were in line to get food, so like, we got food, I got some custard, and then we went to the hospital. I don't cry from pain, I really don't. I can normally really handle it, but I was like, crying, I was like, like, breathing really heavily. It literally sounded like I was fucking giving birth or something. We went to this hospital, it was some, like, ER place, um, and we were like, alright, what's up? My dumbass kid just broke his fucking ribs. Um, and then they were like, okay, yeah, okay, we'll see her in a second, sir, it's fine. Also, bit of, bit of an explanation, so I got my name and gender marker legally changed this last August, but at the time, because this was almost a year ago, at the time, I did not have my name and gender marker changed because I literally just came out. This comes into play later. So, they finally see us after like 20 minutes of me just like hyperventilating, like holding my chest. Sat down with us, nurse was like, what's wrong? And I was like, listen, like, I just broke my fucking ribs. And she was like, how? And I was like, um, well, mm -hmm. It was binding my chest, and she was like, what? And I was like, hey look, th this thing, yeah, right here? <laughs> I've been wearing it for longer than I'm supposed to. And she was like, what the fuck is that? Like, what? What What even is that? Although she didn't say fuck, because she's not a shitty teenager like me. Okay. So I was like, yeah, so um, I bind my chest. Um, I'm transgender, which I hate disclosing, by the way. Like, now I don't, because, like, now I'm, like, really chill with it. I'm, like, on tea. Like, I'm, like, actually, like, I'm good. But, like, at the time, I was so fucking insecure about it. So, yeah, I was like, hi, stranger that knows my birth name. I'm trans... I'm transgender. And she was like, what? And I was like, I'm female to male, I'm transitioning to male, I, I wear this so that it looks like I have a flat chest, because I'm, I'm trying to pass as male. And she was like, okay. Um, and then she wrote it down, or whatever. 
Um, and then the doctor came in a few minutes later, and he was like, so what's going on? I was like, I fucking broke my ribs. And then the nurse turned to him and was like, yeah, she hides her chest because she doesn't like her boobs for some reason. Like, I actually wanted to die in that moment. Like, oh my god. But also, I was like, almost gonna fucking pass out from pain, so I was like, alright, I'm gonna shut up. I'm just gonna, like, let you do whatever. Like, I'm not gonna fight you on this, because, like... You're my doctor, and I don't want you to, like, kick me out or some shit. So I was like, yeah, that's totally what's going on, guys. I was just laying there wanting to die even more because this fucking nurse just said that, and it was literally so embarrassing and just such, like, a slap in the face. The doctor comes over, um, and he pokes on my chest, like, on my ribs right here. And he's like, they're not broken. Like, two seconds, he just poke, I screamed, and he was like, they're not broken. And I was like, neat. Um, and he was like, yeah, you just bruised your ribs. And I was like, awesome. And then, I couldn't bind for a week, so, yeah. Moral of the story is, don't be a fucking dumbass. Like, bind your chest properly. Do what, like, the little instructions say. Like, when I got my binders from GC2, we, like, they come with these little, like, card things that are, like, here's instructions. Like, there's one for, like, washing instructions, I think, and then one for, like, rules of how to wear your binder like, safely. Don't be stupid like me, because even if you don't care about your health at all, um, I could not bind for a week after that. Like, I had to go to school not binding. Like, if it, if you're, like, a trans guy and, like, you're pre-op and, like, you know what I'm talking about, like, literally, I, like, had panic attacks over it, because I cannot leave the house without my chest being flat. I will have a panic attack. Um, so... You know, that sucked. Um, and also, like, if you're binding unsafely and, like, you really hurt yourself, and, like, it's it's easier than you think to, like, actually really hurt yourself, especially in that part of your body. Uh, if you're binding, like, secretly with, like, an ace bandage or, like, duct tape or something, um, and you really seriously hurt yourself, like, you're gonna have to go to the hospital, and then you're gonna have to fucking explain to your parents, oh yeah, I was binding my chest, and you're gonna have to explain why. So even if you don't care about your, your health, just, like, it might out you. So please, be safe. Please don't be dumb like me. Um... I know that it sucks to have to take your binder off, but, like, breathing is important, um, and being misgendered really badly by nurses fucking sucks. So, um, yeah, just don't be stupid. Please be safe, babes. Um, my cat is currently licking her own asshole. I gotta show you my cat. I'm gonna show you my pussy on camera. Sage, I love you. I still haven't thought of a fucking outro, so I think I'm just gonna... Um, yeah. Be safe, babes. And subscribe if you want or something. I post tranny shit mainly, so... Bye.